We're here at Vintage Variety in Atlantic Islands on First Avenue. We are up in the loft, which is slightly above the first floor. As you can see, this is currently set up to hold psychic readings, uh, which they have every once in a while. They have psychic readings and tarot readings and whatnot. The building is uh, over 100 years old. We just spoke to the owner, and she said that the psychics used to live here, and they used to work here right in this very loft for many years before she bought the place. So it would make sense that there was some kind of energy here. Now, normally when we do a room, say Strauss Mansion, which we believe is very haunted, our baseline readings in a room would be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, sometimes even 0.1. Right now, as I stand here, it is a 0.7. I don't know if we can see that on there. Just went up to a 1.1. And as we scan the room, this part right here is a little higher than the others. This is a, up to a 1.7. Now it's at a 1.5, going back and forth between that and 1.6. Now, there's no power in these walls. These are concrete walls. Of course, there is electricity in this room. We've got the lights up there. We've got a computer over there. Um, but the readings over there by that computer were lower than they were right here. Um, again, I'm at like a 1.2 as I go close to the couch, a 1.6. And then if I come over here towards the computer where all the electricity is, I'm at a 1.9, a 0.8. Even over here where all the power is, I'm at a 1.0. 1.1. So it's actually higher over there where there's no electricity than it is here. And this is one of the things we do before an investigation. It's one of the more boring things that we do. And that is we go around with an EMF detector. You get these online. You get them at the Home Depot. And you just scan the room to see, you know, what anomalies might be. Of course, if, they were, if we were surrounded by electricity, well, I probably wouldn't even bother using this because we wouldn't get any good readings. But the electricity is only over here. Of course, there are wires up there in the ceiling. But down here, um, even this table is a 0.8, okay, 0.5, okay, this table is used by the psychics for their readings and we're going to do a seance here soon. Um, there's some energy around this table, but again, the energy here, as we'll investigate tonight with a few more videos, it seems to be this corner of the room. We don't know if there's any significance. As far as the owner knows, nobody died in this property, but the building is over 100 years old, so there's really no way to tell. Um, this is just our introductory video. It'll be the first of hopefully three or four videos we'll shoot here at Vintage Variety in Atlantic Highlands. We're very excited to be here, and we'd like to thank the owner, Meredith Peltz, for opening the place up to us and kind of letting us roam free and do what we got to do. I'm Greg Caggiano for Ghosts on the Coast, Lou Fliggers behind the camera, and we will see you next time.